going to try and go a little faster, or is it going to stick to what you were last year? Yeah, it, uh, it, it'll be similar to the way we played last year, Jeremiah. And I, uh, you know, you, in terms of how we play offensively, you know, that's going to adjust a little bit based on our personnel. Uh, you, know, my, you know, my deal with our guys is we're going to be efficient. And if efficient means we do that in 65 possessions, Okay, great. If we do it in 75, great. If we do it in, well, you couldn't do it in 12 because of the shot clock. It, it doesn't matter to me the number of possessions. The, our players understand that, uh, that we need to be efficient. And that, uh, that for us is the real key. Our personnel will dictate a little bit, you know, what we do with our offense and, and how fast we play. Uh, but I will tell you this, and our guys know it. Uh, and it's one of the things I enjoy when I'm back and watch the games here over the course of the last month is we're going we're gonna to push the ball as hard as we can. And we're going to play, I don't like the word fast, um, but we're going to work to get points in transition uh, every opportunity on a missed shot. And that's not going to change for us. And our guys, uh, our guys are really good in transition. Our guys know that that is uh, where our offense starts when we get a stop. So um, that won't change. If anything, you know, with, with having more guards on the floor, I think there's going to be some more space on the floor for a guy like Wes, a guy like Wyatt, uh, a guy like Arius Austin, our new junior college guard, for those guys to get around and make some plays. Uh, so in terms of uh, seeing some changes in terms of our pace, Jeremiah, it won't, it's going to look similar. Uh, again, the spacing is going to be a little bit different because we'll have more guards on the floor. Uh, and we're going to play fast and transition like we have on the missed shot. And if we don't get what we're like, we're going to run our offense and we're going to be efficient. <clears throat> then you mentioned last year's team trying to be maybe a little too much and you know, put the pressure on themselves to be like 2010. Yeah. What did you learn from that 2011 year that you're going to try to incorporate in this year's team, maybe not, not try to put pressure on themselves to be what last year's team was? Yeah, I think that team, Kajo Alegba was our point guard, and he, he's got enough personality that he doesn't want to be like anybody else. Mm -hmm. he, so that worked out well for us in 2011. And then had O'Rear not gotten hurt, we were going to win the championship again and go to the NCAA tournament. Uh, with, uh, I think it was six games to go in league play. We had just gotten tied and won, uh, uh, won six in a row or eight in a row or something. Uh, but we're playing great. And so that, you know, not getting where we would have liked to have gotten was more a result of Lucas getting hurt and not how we played. We had some young guys really step up and we had some older guys that just made it their team. Uh, and that, uh, you know, that fits in and ties into to my message to our guys last year and, and what I've told them this year. Uh, you know, it, it, it can be... Uh, it can be one of the harder things uh, to be able to, to put something that was so much fun behind you, uh, to not th think about it anymore. Um, it can also be difficult with social media. You know, people are going to want to talk about last year, and, and they're going to bring that up, and that's going to be part of the conversation until we do something better. Uh, you know, at my age, I've been doing this long enough. I understand that's part of the deal. You know, for these guys, you know, it's the first time that they're coming off of a great year, and now have, you know, they come back and they get an opportunity to, to have their own season, if you will. And so I think it's important for them that they hear from me and understand from, from me and from my staff that uh, we're going to work hard every day to, to uh, put the best team together we can this year and uh, figure out how much fun we can have with this year's team. Have you nailed down?